and welcome to Geeker Play Studio Tutorials. In previous tutorials, we'll look how to create um, snow on the mountains, but what I want to do is look a little bit more in details, and specifically how we can enhance a uh, snow mountain look with example, um, like snow pile in some areas, and maybe melting closer to the mountain, so add a little bit more realistic, a little bit more um, natural look to this. So right here, we'll start with Advanced Pearl, and I'm going to just increase slightly this, maybe about three, um, that will be look good, about three kilometers. You can increase, decrease as you uh, prefer. The precision is probably about right. Let me look if, um, let's pop up elevation so we have a nicer contrast between mountains. And you know what, let's just pop up stiffness. So right here we have it nicely uh, preset, everything okay. okay. Let's look good. Okay, and next what I want to do it is um start kind of working on a snow effect. So we'll go inside erosion first. So let's go to modify something here. And I'm going as channel will increase how much it can go down. As well, let's pop up a little bit of rock hardness, so we don't have, we have a little bit more strain kind of going lines and think about them as a way the snow piles we're now creating because we'll go to invert them, and we're going to use the opposite maps. We'll use ways kind of like snow almost will collect in these cases, and also we'll take care amount. Just right here. Let's also enhance. Okay. So right here we have it kind of done. Again, we will use this as a for snow to kind of collect to this. Um, next, we actually need it. Go to natural. Let's select our snow map right here. But before we actually connect want to set some controls for this. So I'm going to create actually a combiner. So what I want to do, I want to take some flow map right here, this, which is will be where the snow collecting because they kind of work nicely in the end. And I will take also our height map and inverse and kind of build up snow piles in these cases. So to do this, I also need to use it. Um, let's go take our first and we'll connect to here. So it's obviously, but second one, I kind of need it select. So for this one, let's go to selector. I'm just using select height. Okay, right here. Okay, and as in select height, we can, you kind of can see, we can Try to maybe bring it down so we can zero. It's fine. So we adjust. We can see how where is the snow we want to pile. So let's me let's stop maybe around this area. Again, we can modify afterward. Just going and adjusting if it's will need it. Okay, next, obviously, I want to inverse that. So at this point, this become higher point and lower. Okay, next, um, I want the snow a little bit swallow kind of, and we'll use the expander for this. So we will make this snow kind of swell. So we'll go connect right here. Let's select to swell. Hybrid, I found it's work the best. And we'll just need to swell this a little bit, maybe about four. Okay, the edge is become very sharp, and right here you can notice because we're using select height inverter. And if you want it, you always can slightly blur out this. And I'm just going to use maybe five, just slightly blur, so we have a little bit soft edge. So let's go ahead, connect here. We'll go add to the screen type and we'll 
just need to bring this down. So it will apply, but it's not too much. You don't want overdone, but you can preview right here. See where we add it. Okay. So it will add those effects. Okay. Now we um, probably want to take this, connect to our snow effect. Okay. Let's go to look inside the snow. And here in the snow, you can modify and we'll look closer on this but i'm just will preset just basic increase snow let's pop up this leave it higher just increase everything so we can see kind of maybe around here so we can see all the values applied I think that is all about same. Let's click OK. And we'll preview when we start creating overlay and we can see how really snow will cover. Okay, um, next what I want to do, it's using macro actually. It will kind of help us to create. And it is called basic coverage. So we'll just select right here. You can preview. And we can always in basic coverage just go set white snow and rock black. Okay, to preview how it will look on mountain, we can go to um, output, just create overlay view. Go take this texture, apply here, and this one just apply. So this is kind of one step, but it's not all the way done. But you can see we have it nice effect applied. A little bit swelling on mountains. Maybe need to add a little bit more to this. So let's do this way. Um, also, what I want to do is add some erosion effect that we can use as a map for the snow as well. So we'll go to view and create maybe a little bit more of those kind of main so let's go to this to natural we'll do another erosion but now what I want to do I want to actually invert those so we'll go create maybe a couple inversion right here we'll take one and I will set this as a mask so this is will apply our veins right here you can see mask just where we selected we can of course can go back in the heights and readjust if you want you can see right here where we apply this is where we'll start overlaying and we'll take our height from mountains and connect it so this erosion will apply to this area and mask just inside okay so we'll go to select properties just overall and switch this to the channel Okay, 100, yeah, let's increase maybe 240. Also, I notice uh, sometimes you want to increase value of the hardness. If you don't increase, it will be a little bit flatter. If you increase, again, remember it's opposite. It's one go inside the rockets, will go out. So this is how high and tall they will be. And this is about, you know, maybe just a little bit. Here and let's also increase pop up. There you go. Okay, so this is one is kind of applied. Next, what I want to do, I want to actually invert this again. And now we can take this high and let's replace it. So remember we saw before, in this case you can see right here you can see how it will apply the add a little bit more so let me go render okay so right here render and you can see we start having this kind of snow build up right here a little bit higher values again we can go inside and start tweaking a little bit more with the snow packs but overall you can see already we have it more natural snow not just going down but also kind of snow start building natural way 
right here where the snow packs will go as well on top so it's actually way more real okay and again we can go inside overlay log preview go select our selector and right here we can change values and you can apply how much of this right example that will apply right to those areas again sometimes you will shrink so it will go less okay we can also just go back and increase so in this case these snow packs will go a little bit higher okay this is one way effect our map we also can work a little bit more with a blur and a combiner so we can bring this maybe just a little bit higher and you can preview now we'll have a little bit deeper cut in on these areas. So overall just the uh, effect, but I think when we go a little bit flatter, we'll start having a little bit better snow packs. Right here example. And of course other properties that I recommend you to look it is we've been using our expander so by increasing expander it will increase a little bit swallowing in those areas okay, so let's bring it a bit higher okay, let's click OK preview You can see right this area we will start having those snow parks created also a little bit on the edges and we need to go to a little bit higher resolution to see even better again this is one way to create those extra snow parks right here you can see on the middle let's have it just slightly border and then creasing so it's great not always, but a little bit more like snow packs right on the middle. So, okay, I'm going to right now um, to render and save this output so we can after use in another application. And again, right here, so we're going to add and just overall just connecting to other so we can reuse afterwards we go create flow here and right here so we have it our height but I want to use also snow output um, as a high field so if we need it let's go to output we'll select a bitmap we'll just connect bitmap right here so we can load it um, just coloring for this okay, I'm going to preview so I'm going to set at least 249 you can set a little bit higher again for the purpose of tutorial that will work I'm going to render all of this now um, stop tutorials and we'll continue for those who are interested inside the view to see how we can utilize and create our final product